Welcome to... Web Native. I'm at PC and Creative. I'm at Phil Campbell. <laughs> and, and, and I'm the ventriloquist. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and it's all about timing and quality. Yes, and that was good. We've just done a series of events, and one of the things is how much budget you've got. Mm. You've got to do the event to the best that you possibly can with the minimum amount of money. Mm. You can't do it for free. Mm. You can choose how valuable your time is and what payoff you might get as a result of that as to how much value it has. But when it comes to videoing, mm. and we recently did TEDx Lace Market, I'm yep. sure you know, and we recorded it, we wanted to send it out live, that was a key priority, yeah. so that people could watch it. Mm. We wanted to send it out in the best quality we could, yeah. with the connection that we had permitted, yeah. with the equipment that we had to hand, yeah. but we also wanted to have something captured so that we could then make it available afterwards. Mm. And what happened as a result was the video wasn't the best quality, no. and that was because the camera we hired well, it's a bit of everything, really. I mean, yes, it was the camera. We could have... The thing was that the venue itself was a interesting building to work with in mm. terms of an event because it was in a piece of sealed concrete, basically. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> I, I mean, anything that was going to... Anything internet-wise that we could get out of it, I was just hopeful for. And to be honest, as soon as I knew that the, 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 the guy who was doing all the mm. AV was in control of the live yeah. stream because he'd done it before, yeah. I yeah. was happy because that's was, all our intention yeah. was. Really. And our priority was an event was the people who had got Absolutely. tickets and were coming to the space. It was a physical event yeah. that we were amplifying. And I th the I th sound, we got a good sound. Oh, video, didn't well, we? I sent the sound off to be mastered. So, I mean, the sound was okay, but I sent it off to be yeah. mastered, which at expense to me, but I did that because I wanted it to be good. I mean, we both spent yeah. money on this additional outside, yeah. but we did that because we wanted Nottingham to have that event in the lace market on yeah. high payment, other people wanted us to do it. But the thing I wanted to throw into Web Native this week about that event is that we only had a certain budget. We had like X amount of, I think about five Which or six we're not K. We're apologising for. No, we're not apologising <laughs> for. We just, it. No, you know, I, I, I just think. I, I just think sometimes quality expectation, isn't it? Yeah, I think if we had another, say, five hundred pound or a thousand pound, we could have delivered a, a better video package, and I would have felt better mm. about it. But also, you know, it's not about. Chuck more money yeah. on it to get better things. We we are we have always gone down the road of yeah. how much can we do it on budget, on point. Yeah. You know, we're we're not after ten, yeah. twenty, thirty grand. There's worth additional of money outlay as well because our main expense came from the venue. Mm. We wanted a, an awesome venue. Yeah. Also, it was important that the speakers that came over were made into a family. So the hotels and also the events around the speakers was really key with the sponsors meeting each other. Yeah. But then if we were going to do something that was purposely amplifying beyond the venue, there's a whole nother set of expenses about reaching the digital audience. I don't think you can just assume that your no. digital audience will be there. Right. I think you've got to talk to them and you've you, got to pay them it. as much attention mm. as your physical audience. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was annoyed as well that, you know... Putting an event on like that, you would have expected a lot more companies. We did prep tastic the videos behind yeah. the scene because we wanted people to see the work that was going into it. And what annoyed me is that people didn't didn't appreciate or respect the fact that what we were trying to do wasn't because we wanted to profit from it. We mm. wanted to bring that to to Nottingham. So I was really upset that the Creative Quarter and notorieties who have big businesses uh, and and the council and all those sort of people. You know, couldn't invest yeah, time in it. Yeah, I mean, when we it's got the so license in back in March, so we, did what we, we just wanted to do something personally with the lace market. Yeah. When we discovered that the creative quarter, we thought this is brilliant. We can help them promote what they're about. Nothing. Yeah, I think. And I, I'm not. I think we proved. I think we proved a few things. Is that we can do events on a budget if we have to, and not back out and say, "Oh, we can't do it. We need more money." I think we proved that. Yeah. But I, 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 I would love have liked doing I, events. But I, love I doing you events. know, I also enjoy eating, <coughs> having a roof over more my than head. beans. And <laughs> mm, surviving on beans. Yeah. I don't know. I I think I would have loved to have uh, had better video quality, but video quality costs money. And would we have been able to edit it at the same time if somebody else had done the edit? Would we have got the video files back? I don't know. It's just one of those I things. think it's kind of support from the community <coughs> that, you know, I, I me. meet a lot of people who say, oh, I want to do social media and I, I want to be involved and I love what you do. And then when they actually 
had the opportunity to take part in something that Bizarre. they could have taken you know they could have promoted it to their company they could have used it in their blog posts they could have come and been on Preptastic it's a shame they kind of it's a shame backed away so if you want to do a TEDx in Nottingham and you have a budget of about £10,000 we will come and help you come and play goodbye <laughs>